I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Mansa Musa who was the king of the Mali Empire in Africa. I take one finger in the center and I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a circle and coming off at the bottom of the dot I'm going to draw a curve line up to the right on the opposite side of the circle I'm going to draw a curve line up to the left. I come back to the right and I draw another circle on the right, come over, draw another circle on the left. Starting here at the uh, bottom of the circle on the left I'm going to draw a slightly curved line down on the left, come back to the right, slightly curved line down on the right. Come back to the left and draw a straight line across. I come back on the left and I draw a slightly curved line down on the left, draw it again, mimic it on the left again, connect the two, slightly curved line. I come on the right hand side, I draw a slightly curved line down on the right, Come on the right side again, mimic that line, draw it again, slightly curved line, connect. Come back to the left, draw a straight line across and connect. In the center, draw a baby circle, okay? Starting right here on the left on this line, we're going to draw a straight line down, curve line over, straight line up and connect. Now go to the outer line and we are going to draw, mimic that line again, straight line down, curve line across, straight line up, connect. Come down here on the bottom left and we're just going to draw a curve line down off the page on the left. Come on the right hand side, we're going to draw a curve line down on the right. Come right here on this point down here at the bottom and we're going to draw a curve line down off the page on the right. Come on the left, curve line down off the page. Okay? Now we're going to fill in with some lines. So starting right back up here on the left I'm just going to go one, two, jump over, on the right, one, two. Now all of us might have a different amount of lines because we all draw differently, but this is basically we're filling in with lines. Now I go across, jump over, continue my straight line, come back to the left, keep going, and some of us might have more, some of us might have not as many. Now I come on the inside of this space and I continue and mimic that line across straight line up, see if you can fit another one in, across, straight line up, connect. Now we're going to continue our curve line, curve line, curve line going down. Now on the right hand side I draw a curve line off the page and on the left hand side, this is going to be symmetrical, I draw a curve line off the page. Whatever I do on the right, I'm going to do on the left. Inside this space, I'm going to draw a wavy, wavy, wavy line on the right. Come on the left. Wavy, wavy, wavy line off the page. Come back to the right. I'm going to draw one, two, three curved lines on the right. Come on the left. One, two, three three lines on the left. Now on the right, I come back and I just draw one more curved line down and on the left one more curved line down. I come back to the right and I fill this in going horizontal with curved lines going down. If I do it on the right I have to do it on the left. Curved lines, curved lines, 
curved lines going down. Now, some of you are going to say, hey, <clears throat> I've run out of space. It's okay. These are his robes. I'm going to put some more curved lines to fill in this space and this space. So we're all going to look a little bit different, and then we're all going to look a little bit the same. All right. I come back up here to the top, and starting underneath this middle circle, I draw a curve line, curve line down. Come back up top, curve line, curve line, curve line down, and connect. I put one, two, three little straight lines, one, two, three little straight lines, and I'm going to put a little baby circle if I can fit it at the end of each one of those. Okay? Starting on the right, I'm going to draw a spiral, and now I'm going to draw a spiral, and I'm going to draw a spiral and a spiral going towards the right. I'm going to fit in as many as I can. Starting on the left, draw a spiral, draw a spiral, keep going till you can't fit anymore. Now, on these lines, I'm going to add a wavy, wavy line up, and I'm going to follow the curve line, follow the curve line, follow the curve line all the way across. Okay, now I come inside, <clears throat> excuse me, on the left-hand side, I draw a curve line, curve line back, connect, on the left, jump over, curve line, curve line back, on the right, connect. Come back to the left and just draw one curve line on the left, one curve line on the right, come back to the left, draw a half circle on the right, half circle. Right about here in the center I draw a straight line curve and on this side I draw another curve. Okay. Right underneath in the center I draw a straight line down and then I draw a big curve line down, up, connect. I draw another little straight line in the center, draw a big curve line down, up, connect. Straight line in the center, slightly curved line at the bottom. Okay? Now, since I have my marker out, I'm just going to go ahead and color these in black. You can use your black crayon when we start coloring, but I'm going to do this now so that you can kind of see what he looks like. You've got all these lines and spirals and baby circles and stuff like that, so it's hard to see sometimes exactly what you're doing. This is his mustache. So I'm going to color this in dark black also. You'll see, I'll mention colors on it when we come to the coloring section. Now, he's in Africa. It's a beautiful blue sky. I put some clouds. So I just go curve line, curve line, curve line. Big curve line off the page. Big curve line up off the page. Curve line, curve line, curve line. And this is really just adding another pop of color. Curve line. And if you have room, curve line. Okay? All right. Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay. He was the richest man ever. And the reason why is because of this color that we're just going to do now. This is yellow, but pretend it's gold. If you have crayons that are gold, you have gold in your crayon box, you can use those. But this is all solid gold. And that was where he made most of his money in Mali was off of gold. And salt. People go, why salt? And that's because of uh, there not being any pre uh, preservatives for foods. They used to salt things. And that was also a big hot commodity. Anyway, so all of this is gold. And so very carefully, I'm trying not to go over my black lines because it's very intricate. But if you Google him and see a picture, you'll see he's got incredible jewelry and robes and what would befit the wealthiest man in the world. So this is his crown, and this part right here is also gold. Okay? Now, all of these lines, these are all his robes. He's got on robes. So in order for you to see it, 
we're going to give him his skin color which is kind of a darky dark dark brown fill this all in and then you can see what part is his face and what part are his robes so this is all brown okay so that means that all of these lines these are all wrapped robes okay now using blue we're going to do a lot of color line work and that's all that means is is that he's got a lot of embroidered stitched robes on that we can't spend a lot of time doing but what we can do is wherever you see a black line you just color next to it with whatever color you want to use I'm using blue because he was mostly in blues now I'm just going to follow these lines down in blue and you can do your own color combinations these are just the ones I used and I'm going to use these down here as blue this whole middle section that's also robes now on my side part I'm just going to put a side of uh, a line of red for all that embroidery and a little bit of the yellow just to add another pop of color all the way down and a little bit of the blue okay again you can dress him as ornately as you want he definitely had a lot of uh, jewels and embroidery now the background I'm going to fill in the whole entire background with a very light blue and I'm doing a loop-de-loop -loop, which is around and around so I don't kill my hands from trying to color stay away from your clouds you want those to stay white white but bring the blue all the way up all the way down so that he pops and so do the clouds okay then just as an extra if you have gray you might want to add some gray next to the black lines because these are the folds in the cloth that he's got in his robes okay alright let's see what he looks like all colored in okay here's Mansa Musa all colored in king of the Mali Empire in Africa somebody said I think he would be worth four billion dollars today or some extraordinary amount okay Bye-bye.